The fabric guide is a great attachment for any project in which your stitching needs to be straight. And the reason that it is so helpful is that you have inches on the bottom, centimeters on top, but what it is is you've got this guide and you're able to position this guide at any position and lock that in place. So if you have a large circle skirt, where you start, you'll stop at the same spot using the fabric guide. So let's attach this to our machine. You'll notice on the bed of the machine there are two screw holes and then you have a sliding bar on the attachment. We're gonna position that uh, sliding bar over those two screw holes and we're gonna use the two screws that come with the attachment and place those in position and just lightly tighten them because what we need to do now is we actually need to align the attachment. And when we align the attachment, we align it with the marking on the bobbin cover plate. So what we're aligning is the zero with the zero on the attachment. And when they're aligned, we're going to finger tighten those screws and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna tighten them with a screwdriver. And the reason that we want to do that is so that this attachment doesn't slide back and forth when we're stitching. Because remember, if we're doing a very long row of stitching, we want that attachment to be secure during the entire process. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this scale or guide a little closer. Now, again, that button locks it that button unlocks it, or tab if you prefer to call it a tab. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my uh, fabric underneath my presser foot, aligning my needle, and I'm going to actually align it with this row of stitching that I have attached to my fabric edge. Now I always overcast using one of the overcast stitches on my machine, or you can also use a serger, but you want to have a clean finish on this hem before you actually start stitching. So now that I've got it aligned with my needle, where I want my needle to, to drop when I'm stitching, I'm gonna move the guide over and I'm going to lock that in place. Reason I'm placing this with my wrong side up is I can see where that edge is. If I were to place it with my right side up, I would have to feel that and that would cause, or I'd probably have to do a little bit more testing. I know I'm pretty secure. I'm gonna lower my presser foot. My fabric edge is lined up against that rail or that guide, and now I am just gonna simply stitch, always making sure that that fabric edge is up against that guide. I'm not worried about my presser foot or my needle. I'm more concerned about making sure everything is aligned before it my fabric reaches my needle. And I'll just continue to the end. So there's my hem. And the great thing about this is that row of stitching is perfectly straight. And I flip it over on the back side. Again, there's my hem and look at how professional that looks. I think that that's one of the things that, that the fabric guide does. So it helps create more of a professional look to anything that you're making. Now I'm gonna take off the accessory tray and we're gonna actually expose the free arm because we're going to create a hem in the round. Now, because I've changed my fabric, I'm gonna want to take a look and make sure that the needle is still falling where I want that needle to be placed. Your fabric is going to probably make some differences based on that position. So if you're going from one fabric to the next, you always wanna make sure that you test the position before you start. So I've placed it with my fabric right side up. We're going to lower the presser foot and I'm going to start stitching. Again, always making sure that that fabric edge is against that guide or that rail. And I am using a straight stitch with that needle in the center position. My hem was uh, pressed ahead of time 
so that I could ensure I had proper alignment when I started sewing my hem. So I'm coming around to the beginning of where I started. I just want to clip that uh, neat top thread to remove it. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that my seam is still open. So I press that seam open and it looks like it got a little twisted. Make sure that that's nice and flat. And I'm going to sew over that seam. And I do sew a little slower. So, and then I'm coming around to the beginning. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch over that just ever so slightly, not too many stitches. I don't back stitch because I think you're going to see that more than you would, or I think you see that more than you do when you just stitch over an area. Okay, we're going to clip the needle and bobbin thread and we'll take a look at our beautiful hem. Look at that. Wow, that's really stunning and how easy that was with that fabric guide. So you can see how the fabric guide for the Baby Lock Jazz 2 is an awesome assistant for all of your project needs.